with Mark Moss yes. to our right. Um, Good morning. And, and you're going to tell us things about Tell Us Something. I am, yes. So, what is this um, week's theme for Tell Us Something or the series theme? Tell Us Something is the opening event of the Montana Book Festival. Ooh. And okay. we open on the 20th of this month, so that's a Tuesday. Uh-huh. Mm. Next Tuesday. And the theme is Fork in the Road. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. How many people do you have? We have 10 storytellers, and they have 10 minutes to tell a true story from memory on that theme. Uh-huh. And I will um, help mitigate the people going over time. Um, <laughs> we're going to be playing music at 10 minutes uh, <laughs> to encourage them to gracefully exit the stage. Oh, yeah, because you and Noel were talking earlier about the wrap it up box. Yeah, yeah. 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 And she's talking about that whole Dave Chappelle skit. And yeah. yeah, it was. Wrap it up box is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So you guys are just going to do some wrap it up music. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. That is such a great idea. Yeah. And it, like, I, I've been to a couple of Tell Us Lemons and I've seen them, and there's definitely a bunch of long talkers. Yeah. It's like. It, it does take them a while to get to a point right. in their story as well, well because they're trying to they're, expand their story. They're well, trying because to, they're getting nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And so what is the process like? If I wanted to be a storyteller, what would the process for me be like? You would look at all of the themes and dates and find one that resonates with you and then sign up on a Google spreadsheet. And if we get on the sign up list, if we get more than 10, then you call a pitch line and you pitch your story. Mm. And from there, the advisory board and I sit down and listen to all the pitches, and we select uh, the 10 storytellers that we'll have available. And what is in the pitches? Is it like a little synopsis? It's like uh, you have three minutes to record a summary version of your story. Mm. So I encourage people just to tell their story as if they were telling it, and then, mm-hmm. you know, obviously they only have three minutes, so. Yeah, yeah, so they yeah. really have to narrow it right. down. Yeah. So then once you've been accepted, what happens next? Then there is a workshop. Um, which actually is going to happen tomorrow. Um, that's a potluck style workshop. It's at my house, and we all the storytellers come and and we workshop their stories. Cool. Yeah. Nice. And so it's kind of like a preliminary hearing. Yeah. To, uh... I, I, I don't. I encourage them not to over practice their stories, and I try to get them to not write it out. But some people need. A little outline. And the nice thing about Tell Us Something is that they're telling their own personal stories. So they yeah. already know how it went down exactly. from yeah. their point of view. And yeah. I really liked your uh, last Tell Us Something. The, the, like, that's not how I remember it. Oh, that's yeah. not how it happened. That's not how yeah. it happened. It's like two people telling the same story. And I think that is like the, the best thing ever. I thought fun. that was great too. Yeah. It's yeah. like that one uh, Japanese movie where basically they have like five different story perspectives about that one guy. I can't remember the it's Mandela kinda or like, something. Kind of like Cloud Atlas too. Cloud Atlas has like all those different <laughs> lifetimes, but it's one around one. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, Cloud Atlas it, is great. It, it, I don't know. It's, it's really long. But anyways. <laughs> oh, we're talking about Tell Us Something. Yeah, now you got, Alice. you got all sidetracked. <laughs> telling your own personal this stories. This happens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a, oh, there's, I was watching um, Cloud Atlas the other day, and I was like, oh my god, this is long. I was like, should I go to the bathroom now or later? I was just arguing with it. Anyways, <laughs> that's the story of me watching Tell Us. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and so you have a website. Tellussomething.org. Awesome. Yep, and, and a what, Facebook page. What can people expect from your website? That is where you can stream all of the stories that have ever been told at Tell Us Something. Um, You can learn more about Tell Us Something itself and um, some of the board members, the advisory board members, and um, upcoming events as well as workshops that might be coming available. Are you guys doing any events uh, uh, during the Montana Book Festival? Uh, we are the opening event, so I guess that is during the yeah. book festival. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you guys kick it off. Yeah. That's really so cool. So beyond that, no. Yeah. And then how much is the entry fee? $10. $10. Uh, at the Wilma. $10 day of show, $8 in advance. And okay. tickets in advance can be purchased at the Wilma.com, um, Rock and Rudy's, and the Top at Box Office. And the cool thing is if you go to the Top at Box Office, you can also get a little lunch. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Is there anything else you want to tell us? I think that's all I got. Let you go, yeah. Yeah. Do. Yeah, okay. that's great. Yeah. yeah. All right. Great. Thanks for joining me. Well, <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> thanks, Mark. Yeah, you bet. We'll be right back after this, everyone.